There? I'm back. I'm taking over at the computer. Please don't. Al. Al, can you hear me? Alfred? Oh, uh, uh, is it... What's... What's the matter? Uh, Thomas? Uh, let's... Let's chat. Uh, now's the time. It won't be long. No, Al, it's me. It's Bruce. Yes. What would, Master Bruce? Think about what you've done. I don't know. He, he, he and the, the, the Cobblepot boy are playmates. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I. Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, no, it was. It was nothing. I was. I was working and I felt. I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Hey, 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 hey. slow down, slow down, relax. I'm gonna take care of you. Uh, couldn't be in better hands. Don't worry, I'll be back up in no time. Uh, oh, Jed. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. The bioscan of Riddler's body. I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it ca causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other, something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. It's only because they think they found Eden. A way to cure all of their problems. Men rarely share their prosperity, even if it brings them ruin. The fools. Run the simulation again. Then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Uh, I already ran it several times myself. Uh, I... I wanted to, to be thorough. Silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. A place where the sun actually comes to visit. <laughs> I might even come with you after all this is over. Well, I shall hold you to that. But you can't bring your bat suit.
The Vesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Agreed. But be careful. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm trusted here. I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. Sorry, Albert. We can't risk you falling again. Very well. No, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. So... Bruce... Um... After our little talk at your office, I had an idea. There's something I want to show you. So, I've been working on this in my spare time. I remember you said you could use the help, you know, when you're Batman. I started thinking about a tactical suit, in case I'm ever needed in the field. Para-Aramid Synthetic Lining. Photo-Adaptive Suit Coloring. Full-Spectrum, Full-Surround Heads-Up Display. I should be able to get the mesh fabricated in no time. I'm getting ahead of myself. The last thing you want is me out there on the rooftops with you. This wasn't all just about me. You've been going up against some heavy opposition, Bruce. More than usual. Alfred told me how Bane nearly killed you. So I designed you this. That's a gun. Let me read you the specs. That man doesn't use guns, Tiffany. You mean, at all? I guess I've never seen you use one. I don't use a gun, because Batman doesn't kill. Okay, I get it. Still, criminals are always trying to kill Batman. Are you telling me you've never once considered a gun? Just to even the odds? Never. I would violate my code. So, Batman has a code. Without it, I would become the very thing I hate. Listen, I should have thought it through more. I just got so caught up in the design, I didn't... 
I have a lot left to learn. Now, don't be so hard on yourself. I have to go. We'll be waiting right here. John? Dr. Quinzel, this is Harley's. easy on me, you know? What am I going to say to Bruce? It, it, it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self-defense. I, I know it needs work! Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just... It, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I can't. 
Explain. Just try and reserve judgment. Take a deep breath, John. Just calm down. It was horrible. Just horrible. But you're, you're right. I, I should do my exercises. Get a, get a hold of myself. What happened? Is Harley here? She left just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up. I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. Think of the new color scheme. <laughs> you said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's... Uh... It's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I... I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. You can be straight with me, John. Why wouldn't I be telling you the truth? If I hadn't fought them off, I'd be the one lying in a pool of blood. You... you, you believe me, don't you? So we don't have trust. What we really have. What kind of question is that? Of course I do. Then, then what's with all the suspicion? You're just trying to tell me what you think I want to hear. You're supposed to be on my side! I guess I'm an idiot for expecting that, aren't I? What do you mean? Whatever this is between us, it's off balance. The goodwill only flows one way, and it isn't towards me. You've made that very clear by now. John, that's not true, okay? You're imagining things- Really? Loopy old John's hearing the voices again. Is that it? You really know how to stick the knife in, Bruce. I should have known things were wrong when you drank Harley's slushy. After I told you I was in love. You've been using me from the start! At least have the decency to admit it! The least you can do is come clean about that! I'm not stupid, Bruce! Please, please, don't feed me. Me any more lies. It's not true, John. I care about you as a friend. I really don't do. Say that. We both know that's a lie. You don't even respect me enough to tell me the truth. <laughs> John. <laughs> I know. You can fight better than that. Or do you need your bat suit to really get you in the mood? What? You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, 
criminal. Bat! You can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. Well done, John. You figured it out. I have to say, I'm impressed. Only because you underestimate me. <laughs> I never miss a trick. It all gets filed away up here. You think you can use that against me? As blackmail? Oh, I would never. We're two threads in the same stitch. Remember, bound together, even under strain. Then what's your point? After we raided the agency's convoy, Harley stashed one of their trucks here. And now it's gone, which means she's getting out of town, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. I'm not asking for much, just a little faith. I swear to you, this was self-defense. One more time, you do believe me, don't you? You still have faith in me, don't you? Your old buddy, John? This is a mess, and we are going to need to talk about it more. But... I believe you. I'm sorry I doubted you, John. Oh, gosh, Bruce, I'm... I'm overcome. I'm sorry I doubted you. I feel so much better now that we've hashed this out. We've got to catch up with Harley. Before these murderous agents find her. She's got explosives and the virus. If they start shooting, things could get really exciting. Oh boy! <laughs> If I had known these were your wheels, I never would have stolen that beater. If you don't give me Riddler's blood! Can't do it, Quinn. Even if I wanted to. I mean it! The bridge and every sad son of a bitch on it! The blood is gone! The serum you want is no longer an option! Stand down now! No one needs to get hurt! I said get back! They're gonna kill her, Bruce! They're gonna shoot first and ask questions later! I can't just stand here and do nothing! We can't let that happen! We'll keep her safe, John. You don't have to worry. Hearing you say that really calms my nerves. Rain, about time you showed up. What in the good goddamn is he doing here? Director Waller, John Doe's, uh, been aiding Bruce's investigations. This creature's with you? 
Amanda Waller, meet John Doe. He's a trusted friend. I'm, I'm here to defuse the situation. I have my doubts, but hell. At this point, I'll try anything. Harley's making... demands we simply can't meet. Her detonator's on a dead man switch. She lets it go. This bridge is history. This situation is rapidly spiraling out of control. I'm running out of options. Harley is heading towards a cliff, and she's gonna drag all of us with her. I know you took the blood. Why don't you just give it to her and save all of us the pain? I can't do that. One of my own people tampered with Riddler's blood. Someone inside the agency. The serum Quinn wanted to make is off the table for good. It's destroyed. Why don't we let Bruce try negotiating? He spent a lot of time with Harley recently. <sighs> Give it a shot, Bruce. See what you can do. Stand down, people. Let him through. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. Harley. Never thought I'd see you again. Thought you'd cut and run after your cover was blown. All I want is Riddler's blood. I get it? I leave Gotham for good. That agency hellbeast says she don't got it, but I know she's lying through her teeth. The serum you're trying to make, it doesn't do what you think it does. How do you know about that? Because I looked into it. It does as much harm as it does good, maybe more. Harley, you're a doctor. You have to understand. It destroys your brain chemistry. Sure. You're gonna tell me you love me, Wayne? Excuse me? I like a little romance when I'm getting screwed. I'm holding all the goddamn cards. Either they give me what I want, or I play the one that goes BOOM! I ain't fooling around. I know why you're doing this, Harley. If you're... Afraid of inheriting your father's illness, I can help you find a cure. What did I say when I first brought you to the subway? Never bring up my dear old dad again! Bruce, what the hell are you doing? Harley does not like talking about such personal things. Stand down! She's gonna lose it! Ah, uh, Puddin? Let me talk to her. I know her better than anyone. I'm so glad you're here, baby! These deadbeats want my head on a stick! You can do it, John. I believe in you. I won't let you down. I have everything worked out. Up here. Trust me, I learned from the best. Okay, just... Just what? Tell her what she wants to hear. You mean I should ignore what you said in the cafe? About being myself? Whatever it takes to make her give up that detonator. That sounds like a terrible idea, Bruce. Harley will see straight through me if I try anything shady. Hey, don't worry about a thing. With all these people watching, how can I not live up to the occasion? Those two reprobates getting their heads together is a recipe for a disaster. Thinking. Bruce won't be a try 
John said it himself. He knows her better than anyone. As long as he keeps her talking, there's still a chance she won't blow the bridge. There's truth in that. Not enough to inspire confidence, but it's better than nothing. This is going south. We're gonna shut this down right now. If we interfere now, we could push him right back into Harley's arms. If we don't, everyone on this bridge will die. Stand by to move in, people. Alpha team, move in to flank. What the hell do you think you're doing? You gotta trust him, Waller. I'm telling you, he'll come through. With a marriage proposal, maybe. Not a successful resolution to the crisis at hand. You need to have faith. Stand down. You backstabbing piece of crap! Don't struggle, Harley. They think you're a fighter. They're gonna put you in the hole. I'm gonna rip your head off, you cuckoo-garbage son of a- Get her out of here. How could you, John? You broke my heart. Bruce showed me how to be good, Harley. In a way you never could. Thank you for your help, Mr. Doe. You did a great job. The virus, please. I don't think so. I don't think anyone should have this. Least of all you. Well then, we'll no longer be requiring your service. No! He helped us! You betrayed me! After I saved the day! Uh. You agency people! You're just the worst! Find that bag! <coughs> and get Quinn in the truck immediately! Where's Wayne? I want him secured! <coughs> Subdue him if you have to! No, you have my back. John? You corrupt pigs. You're supposed to stand for justice. But you're liars and you're murderers and you're so goddamn rude.
you guys like this episode, bye guys.